This video will give you an idea of what to expect after you've completed the purchase for the Ultimate Photography Bundle from Photography Planet. After the purchase, you will receive an email with your own personal download link. And when you click on that link, you'll come to the page that looks like this. That contains download links for all of our products. They're categorized, so you can download just what you want. And if there's some things that you're not interested in, you don't have to download them all. Um, see here we have uh, digital frames so you just click on that and it'll open up the download link you can download all of our frames in one zip file same thing with the Lightroom presets marketing materials photo overlays we have several different um, downloads for the overlays because we have a lot of different overlays and because they are larger files we can't combine them all into one or two zip files we have to put them in a lot of different zip files I recommend downloading one file at a time um, because if you try to download a bunch of different large files at the same time, it can slow down your system and uh, depending on your internet connection, it may not may not work to download all at once. So I recommend downloading one at a time and you should have no, no trouble. Um, they are categorized by the types of overlays. So for example, you can download all the badge overlays, Christmas overlays, creative effects, grad senior overlays, kids and family photo overlays, logo overlays, etc. And um, all the overlays are included in one, in some cases, in two of these different files. So if you download them all, you'll have all of the overlays. And then Photoshop Actions, you'll see a file for Actions for Photoshop, as well as another one for the Actions for Photoshop Elements. And then there are files for the print templates, um, by category, so we've got birth announcements, Christmas cards, Easter cards, grad announcements, save the dates, sports cards, Valentine's Day cards, and wedding thank you cards. So if you download each of those files, you will have everything on our site, and you can download them all from one page rather than having to click around to all the different pages on our site to download everything. So by far the most um, popular products and the ones that most people use most frequently are the Lightroom presets and the Photoshop actions so I wanted to give you a quick overview of how to install those products and use them so to save time for the video I've already gone ahead and downloaded them um, so I have a file here for all of the actions and then all of the Lightroom presets and this is how they will come um, when you download them they'll be in zip files once you've unzipped them they'll be in folders like this. So we'll start with the Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop already open, which I do, um, it's pretty easy to install the actions. Click on the icon here, you can see the actions that you have installed. In this case, all I have is the default actions that come with Photoshop. So I want to install some of our actions. If you already have Photoshop open, you can just double click on the ATN files. So um, the download folder also includes a few other files. It includes documentation, which shows you how to install um, product license. And then there's also some instructional files here that show how to use um, some, of our, um, some of our specific sets of actions, workflow actions, signature series actions, and the retouching actions are all a little bit different than some of the typical just one-click Photoshop actions. So. You can open up those text files and they will provide you with a link to a video that demonstrates how to use those actions. Now to install, all you need to do is double click on the ATN files. So double click on this one and you can see that it almost instantly installs into Photoshop. And then you just click on the arrow to open up and see the, the actions that are included in that set. So then you'll just uh, go through that process and install each one. If you don't want to use them all, you don't need to install them all, but um, for each one that you want to use, you'll just double click and they will install. Okay, I'm not going to go through the process of all of them, but you see how that works. So then to use the actions, you would just, um, again, open up the folder, and then if you want to play this first action of the dramatic cinema, select the action and then click on the play button, and it'll run, and there you can see the effect of the action. If you go over to the layers palette, you can see that um, all the layers and adjustment layers created by the action are included in a, a folder or a group. So you can hide that to see the original. 
and you can also open it up if you want to adjust the specific um, layers created by the action. Okay, so if we move over to Lightroom, we can take a look at how to install the Lightroom presets. There's a couple more steps for that as compared to um, the Photoshop actions, but it's fairly straightforward. We'll go to Edit, Preferences, and on a Mac that would be Lightroom Preferences instead of um, Instead of having edit up here in the menu, it would say Lightroom. So it would go to Lightroom Preferences. Then you want to make sure that you're on the Presets tab up here. I recommend unchecking this box here where it says Store Presets with Catalog. Just make sure that's unchecked. And then click on this button that says Show Lightroom Presets folder. OK, so we want to click on Lightroom. And then we're going to start with Develop Presets. So we're going to click on the Develop Presets folder. And you'll see the User Presets folder in here. If you've created or installed other presets, you should see them listed here as well. So going back to um, the files that we downloaded, here's the uh, all Lightroom presets folder. So this includes all of our presets that you've downloaded, I've broken down into brush presets, develop presets, and then we have the master workflow presets kept separately. Uh, the brush presets, it's just one folder, it's our portrait brushes. Um, Develop presets includes a bunch of different folders for each of our sets of develop presets. And then in master workflow, we have this separated because it's kind of its own system. Um, it includes develop presets. All of these uh, folders here, 1 through 14, are develop presets. And then the brushes is brush presets. And then you have documentation, product usage, license, and um, how to install Lightroom presets. So we'll start with the develop presets, open them up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these, and paste into our um, develop presets folder. Now, if you don't want to use all these presets, you certainly don't have to install them all. I'm just going to do it quickly to show how you can get them all into Lightroom very quickly. Okay, now we're going to go back to the folder of presets that we downloaded. I'm going to go back to the master workflow presets and I'm going to also copy and paste all of these, uh, the first 14 sets here, first 14 folders. And I'll go back into the develop presets folder where I just installed the other ones and I will paste these as well. Okay, so now we have all of our develop presets pasted into the develop presets folder. We'll back up one folder into Lightroom and then we'll go into local adjustment presets to install the brushes. Okay, now we'll flip back over to the files that we downloaded. Here we have our brush presets. So I'm going to copy this folder, paste it into the local adjustment presets. Now I want to go back and get the master workflow presets brushes. And I will also install those. Okay, so now we can close this, go back to Lightroom. Now we want to restart Lightroom so that um, it will go ahead and install the presets so that we can use them. So once Lightroom comes back up, we should have all of our presets installed and ready to use. And I will demonstrate um, how you can use them. So over here on the left, you'll see presets. If they're not showing, just um, click on this arrow and you'll see um, the ones that we've installed. And there's also some that come with Lightroom by default, the ones that start with Lightroom. And then all these other ones are uh, ones that we have installed. Okay, so if we want to use, use one, we would just um, click on the arrow, open it up, click on the name of the preset that you want to install or that you want to apply. And it's that simple. Now, if you want to use any of the brush presets, you would first need to um, select the adjustment brush tool by clicking on this icon here or using the keyboard shortcut K. And you would um, use this down arrow. And here you can see all the brushes that you have installed. So you would just select on one. So this one is for lightening. So if you want to lighten, you would select that and then uh, Increase the size of your brush or to whatever you want, and then brush over the photo. And it's 
lightening um, the photo by a quarter stop of exposure at this point. And then if you want to change the brush, you can uh, do this. Use the drop down arrow and select the brush that you want. So in this case, I just chose to lighten by a full stop. You can see the difference there. So that's all you have to do to use the Lightroom presets and Photoshop actions. Thank you.